In a couple places in the course you have to draw an MCC IOS schedule and we're not going to go over how to find those numbers. Um, this is just going to cover how to physically make that graph. So uh, you will be given different projects, their internal rates of return and the capital required for those things. You typically will have to find the weighted average cost of capital uh, and then another weighted average cost of capital after the first breakpoint, typically when retain earnings run out, and then possibly a second breakpoint after the firm has to issue higher interest rate debt. So you will have found those numbers already. So Project A has an internal rate of return of 13% and capital required of $2 million. We're going to insert a shape, namely a rectangle which starts at 13% and goes out, well the bottom of the graph is here, and goes out to 2 million. So this is 2 million wide and up to the 13% there. Project B is at 12% and requires 3 million. So again we're going to insert a shape rectangle. B has an internal rate of return of 12% so we're going to start the box here and it requires $3 million in capital, so we're going to go out one, two, three million, which brings us about here. We can just change that color, so it's different from Project A. Project C, insert shape rectangle, 11.5%, which is going to be here, and it needs to go out two million because that's how much capital it requires. Blue is fine, you can change it to green. And Project D, insert shape rectangle. It has to start at 11%, which is here, and go out 3 million, one, two, three. There we go, so a total of 10 million we're using. Make that purple. Next, you draw the MCC or marginal cost of capital using your different weighted average costs of capital and we're going to represent those as plain lines so we're going to insert shape line and this says the weighted average cost of capital starts at 10.25 percent this is 10 percent this is 10 and a half so 10.25 is about here and we need to go out as far as uh, the first breakpoint. Um, now, I, you would have to find that information as well. Let me um, pop that information over here. Okay, so again, these would be numbers that uh, you would be calculating in the problem beforehand. So we're saying the first breakpoint is at six million dollars. So we're uh, our weighted average cost of capital 10.25 percent until we get to six million dollars. So we're going to take this line, which is at 10.25%, and bring it out to 6 million, which is here. Another thing that will make life easier is if you go to the uh, format and make this line a little thicker so you can see it. Um, you can also make it a uh, darker color. So at, uh, at this 6 million where we are, the weighted average cost of capital jumps to 11.4 percent. So we need to insert another line starting at 11.4 percent which is about here and also starting at the six million. So all in all that puts us about here and we'll be at that level of weighted average cost of capital until eight million which is there. 8 million. So 11.4% between 6 million and our second breakpoint, 8 million. You would then also want to uh, connect these lines. And then it says our um, weighted average cost of capital 12.5% once we hit that $8 million. So we will insert another line at 12.5%, which is here, starting at 8 million and going to the end. And we would also want to connect.
connect like this. Uh, so we have this representing the different average costs of capital and we call this line the marginal cost of capital line and then we have these rectangles which represent our different investment opportunities. Here we see that we are uh, good through project C because project C has an internal rate of return of 11.5 percent and we can get capital at 11.4 percent or less so that will be profitable. We then see that D would not be profitable internal rate of return of 11 percent when our cost of capital is actually much, much higher there.